Today, I recognize that guy who believes he's lived long enough and contributed enough to the world that he's entitled to conduct his life without his shirt on. You know that guy who is no longer going to let society dictate that just because his chest now sags like warm pizza dough that he shouldn't be able to take off his shirt in public. After all, it's just church. That guy is so quick to skin his shirt he's like a college yeah. freshman just arriving in Cabo for spring break. Only not at all. Of course, that guy's never going to be featured in Grandpa's Gone Wild videos, nor does he want to be. Oh yes, let me be perfectly clear about something, lest you judge that guy recklessly. That guy's not topless on the patio because he thinks people want to see him topless, or that he wants people to see him topless. That's what rednecks and Havasu are for. No, that guy goes topless because he just wants to be topless. It's cooler, it's easier to match the rest of his outfit, it keeps neighbors from visiting. Truth is, that guy who wears a t-shirt in the swimming pool probably envies that guy and his devil-may-care attitude toward fitness and fashion. That guy doesn't care what others think, he's not trying to be a role model, he doesn't think he's sexy. That guy just wants to do yard work without a tag scratching his neck. And by gum, he's lived long enough that he's earned that right. So there he is, in the front yard, seated atop his mower, hairless legs sticking out from his jean shorts, dress socks tucked into Velcro shoes, a straw hat, and he's gloriously topless. Both his cares and his silvery mane of unruly chest hair blowing in the wind for all the neighbors to see. Or not see. That guy doesn't give a shirt. Now right now, that guy is preparing for his granddaughter's wedding, and he's asking his wife if it's totally necessary to wear the damn scratchy shirt beneath his coat and tie. That guy's wife doesn't respond. She tuned him out years ago, even when he was wearing shirts. So that guy grumbles, well, I'd rather be that guy than worried what other people are or aren't wearing, man. Well, first of all, that guy, this segment isn't called Worried What Other People Are or Aren't Wearing, Man. It's called That Guy. Secondly, you should know that at every Neighborhood Watch meeting, your neighbors discuss behind your back what can be done about topless that guy who is driving down everyone's property values. Sorry. Thought you should know. If what I've said today has offended you in any way, well, there's probably a good reason for it. You're that guy.